Hello, and thanks for, again for joining me for another episode of Escape the Pacific. Picking up where we left off last time, we started to build our cabin. We need to find some more planks. So, we need to go and explore a few more islands. So, what we're going to do is we're going to load up some more things on our, on our raft. Put our bed back on here. And this is going to live here permanently now. So, becoming more and more of a mobile base. Just going to pop that there, pull out one of our ropes, tie that down, grab our barrel, and this water's still sort of on the edge of going bad. It's still at 20, so it's still drinkable. So I'll tie that down as well. And let me see. All right. So now I had a comment in a previous video about rudders. And apparently the game doesn't really register any more than a maximum of four rudders. So we're going to take most of these off. Dump these over here because I would much rather have the ropes. So I'll take those off. And these are coming off a bit easier. Well, spoke too soon. Detach that. Take that one off. That one come off pretty easy. Detach that. Pop that down. Attach that one. So I'll leave two on that end, two on this end. Just going to break these down. We don't need them. And uh, that'll add to our dismantling skill. Which means if we do find any of the crates that we break down, the higher our dismantling skill is, the more stuff we're going to get out of those. So, we're just going to drop these over here. Going to pick up this mast. So, usually I like to have one in each of the back corners as well so i'm not too sure if the cabin actually obstructs the wind or not so pop one there we'll tie that down make another mast uh, we're just going to do a normal one we've used up all our bandages i mean really you only need one indicator but uh I just like to put them on because they look good. There's not really much else that you can use the uh, bandages for. We can make some torches with them, but that's about it. And we've got lanterns, we've got candles, don't really need torches. So I'm just going to plonk that down, pull out another rope, tie that off. And need to put some sails on them. Got these two palm ones here. I'm not going to use those. So we'll break those down. And we'll make banana ones instead. This island has plenty of dead banana trees that aren't ever going to grow bananas on them. So we've got no shortage of banana palms so we whack that together pick that up pop that up here pull out another rope and fasten that 
make another one. Add those in. A couple of long sticks. Okay. Pick that one up. Pop this one up here. Pull out a rope. Fasten that one. Alrighty. Uh, what else? We're going to take some of these drying racks. They can live permanently on our raft from now on. Put them up the front. So things tend to dry out quicker on your raft, especially if you put them up the front here. As you're sailing, the wind blows on them and tends to dry them out a bit quicker than, than normal. And I like to keep the fruit and the fish on the rack because it doesn't go bad until you actually take it off the rack. The bird meat, on the other hand, I leave on the rack. Uh, sorry, I take off the rack and I put it in a container because it doesn't spoil when it's dried. So we're going to these ones on this side try and get it reasonably straight might be a bit too close to the edge we'll try no that's okay all right we'll grab one more uh, I think we'll grab this one at the back that doesn't have anything on it well, it does have stuff on it, but it's got some free space. So if we come across another papaya tree in our travels, we can uh, pop some fruit on there. So we'll just slide that up and plonk it in. Straighten it up a tad. straight all right try that maybe across a bit all righty tie that down now what else have we got That's our crate full of bottled water. That's our food crate. We'll take that. And sort of try and drop that in here. Slot it in if we can. Straighten it up a little bit. Might be a bit too close to the edge, we'll see. Yeah, it doesn't like that position, so slide it in a bit further. Try that. There we go. Uh, we will take our bottled water. We've got our barrel. But uh, that is starting to go bad. So we've got this water in the bottles will stay fresh. Usually. Uh, unless they've done any more updates since last 
I've played this. So I've tied that down. Uh, that's probably going to do us. Not much more we can take. We can't take any of our water making facilities. Uh, I'm not going to take our salt at this stage. Till we've got a bit of a roof up there. Uh, we can, if we wanted to, we could take our, uh, our planter boxes. But I'm going to wait until we've built some walls on here. So we're ready to rock and roll. So let's have a look. Pull out our map. Uh, what have we got over here? Got D there. C there. That's M and C where we found our map and compass. That's our starter island. So I reckon we'll head for D. Go check that out. So hop down here. Pick up our raft by the corner. Use our mouse wheel to scroll it out. Get it as far away from your body as you can, and then you can spin it around a lot easier. Try and point it in the direction of that island. Let's see how close did we get. Now it's still off a bit. Try that again. So if you try and spin a big graph like this around when it's too close to your body, it's going to smack into you. That might be too far. Let's try that again. C there and D there. Alrighty, so turn around just a little bit. Pop it down into the water. And jump on. And start heading off in the general direction of D. We've got a bit of a headwind. But we're on starter mode so that shouldn't really matter. Getting spun around though because we're beached, so no, uh, that's not not good. Now you can muck around with the more sort of advanced sailing options, and you know, like uh, employ some different sort of options with trimming your sails down and tacking and taking advantage of the direction of the wind to go in the direction that you want to go. So let's have a look where this D is there. So we're pretty much in the direction we want to go. Let's go. Shove it out a bit further. Jump on, and we'll just put our sails up a little bit. Yeah, we're starting to take off. Put them up full sail. Pull out our map and make sure that we're heading in the right direction. Just over there. Alrighty. So I'm going to take a seat. I'm going to hit you to speed up time. I'm going to pause the recording and I'll come back to you once we're a bit closer to the island. So I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, so we're coming up to the island. And we're just going to press U to stop our fast travel. 
and we're just going to cruise in here gently just looks like a rather small island there is a shipwreck there let's start bringing our sails down hit escape jump off drag it up and have a look at what we've got here so let's see got ourselves a barrel it's empty but we'll take that so we can start using these extra barrels we can put salt in them we can put oil in them um not gonna worry about a paddle got some coconuts here grab those so i might pop them in here for now stop and rolling away just uh go and grab this And we'll just pop that down here. And we've got some mangroves here, but they're only short ones, so I don't think we'll ever get any salt off of them. More, more birds, no nests. So sometimes you'll find nests on the seagull rocks, and those will have eggs in them. Uh, but do be warned. If you take the eggs, you will get attacked by the seagulls. You can try and fight them off with an axe. Talking about axes, got a fireplace, have a look around. Sometimes you'll find an axe near the fireplace, I don't see one. But we do have a couple of spares. And I mean, if we look after our one that we do have, it should last a while. Small chest here, nothing in it. Uh, we probably won't take it with us, but uh, pop these in there for now. Small chests are not really, don't really carry much. Sometimes I take one or two on my ship just for little things. We'll drop this over here. Have a bucket. We want that. Pour that out in the ground. We want to pop that in here. Now, uh, how many of these can we fit in? See, can't even can only fit two coconuts in it so let's see got a shipwreck over there let's just dump these coconuts here for now so there's not much else here um it's too dark to go diving for that wreck doesn't look like we've got any crates that we can break down. Uh, there will be some loot on that ship probably. Uh, so we want to have a snooze and um, wait until it's lighter so that we can see what we're doing when we dive for that. So uh, let's see. I think I might end up moving that mast. And I might put it over this side just because it's direct center and when I'm sitting in the middle kind of obstructs my view and I like to see straight ahead so uh, let's hop up on here pull out our map let's have a look around 
So that's our map and compass. Got an island there. That's J. That's C. Got one there. K. And one over there. And we've got E there. It's another one there. M. F. And back to our starter. Okay. So hold down shift. We are on D. It's only the fourth island that we've been to. I'm just going to name this not much. Because there's not much here. But, uh, there we go. Um, so, that's our, uh, that's our fourth island on the night of our sixth day. That's going to do it for this episode. So, in the next episode, we'll continue our search for some more planks. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave me a like or a comment down below. If you want to see more and you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.